Good morning. It's Sunday. It's the start of a new vlog. Uh, I am editing last week's vlog. The sound that you hear in the background, if you do hear it, is the ice machine. I just got to advertise the new masterclass with the gangster gardener guy, and I'm like psyched because that's like my thing, right? That's my Rona trauma. So, um, yeah. I'm excited to watch that. That's like one of my big to-dos this week. I want to whiten my teeth. I want to clean my um, uh, vanity like glam corner. And yeah, I've got some other goals too. So I'm just trying to get my head in the game for this week. Because um, last week was hella stressful. But it's a new week. And today we're going to get Mexican food for dinner. And I get groceries delivered either tonight or tomorrow. Very excited about it. Uh, and we're going to cook a whole, whole bunch this week. I'm exploring new recipes. So, gear up for that. Good morning. <laughs> it's Monday. I had originally planned to be very productive today, but I got drunk last night and uh, we like needed it. We went out, we're, we just kind of decided that like on, on days where we get the kids or hand the kids off um, during you know rona because that's it's been modified for rona we pick up uh, mexican food and we get this like big ass vat of margaritas that lasts us for like a week and so it like last week was just so last week was so stressful i literally got heart palpitations i've never in my life had heart palpitations i had to google what was happening to me um because i thought i was having a heart attack and i was like you know i'm 34 I'm in good health, I'm in shape, I eat well, like all this stuff, right? Like I, was, I check all the boxes. And I was like, what the fuck is happening to me? And I could feel it. Um, and I Googled and it made a ton of sense. It was like heart palpitations, you don't have a heart condition uh, and it's usually brought on by stress. Um, and last week was like the most stressful week I've had in I don't even know how long. Um, so, it makes sense but it just terrified me right like I, like for the whole weekend it was all it was like saturday evening like around dinner time it started and it went all night and it went into sunday went into yesterday i feel better now i'm just slow because i'm you know delicate from normally i can do two margaritas i think i had like four and a half last night so yeah so this week i'm trying to because we don't have the kids i can focus um, I'm trying to like really chill out. I, I, I said last week I hadn't, I finished the vlog before I had heart palpitations. So I was trying to like be productive for this week. And I think now it's more about, okay, what can I do that's going to keep me calm? Because I had no idea how stressful last week was going to be until I was in it. And I was like, I mean, I was like losing my mind, um, just trying to keep everything. And it's like, they're not even that old. The kids are little, but like they're still in school and they're in different grades and you have to keep them occupied and you have to keep them like doing curriculum. Um, but because everything's still so new, like they change stuff all the time. They change this, where things are, what's required, um, you know, and they're trying to like pitch it to you as like, keep them occupied but the problem is like they're used to being in a room full of 20 kids and they're not now so that kind of group think is gone and you have to replace it with something otherwise that pressure like nobody's talking about the amount of pressure that these kids suddenly feel because they don't have kids to ping pong it off of right so it's just like if that shit was tough um and you can't like you don't want to traumatize these kids right so you've got to be like really on your game but it was just like, oh my God, all day, every day. And I was just so wiped out at the end of the day. And I was like, this is not healthy. Like this is, I'm genuinely concerned for my mental health right now. Um, and it's just such a foreign thing to me because I'd never had to deal that, with that. Like, like to that, nobody's had to, right? Like even people that actually homeschool, they're not used to that level of intensity um, because you can't do anything that you would normally do. And we're high risk, so we can't take them anywhere right? Even if we could, um, you have to be intelligent about it, but like we can't take any risks. So it just feels harder. I'm sorry. I'm just venting, but yeah. So this week I've kind of pivoted what I'm going to do. And instead of being like hyper productive, I'm trying to do things that are still productive because I need that kind of satisfaction in my mind. Um, but I also just need to be like way chill. So that's why I'm researching vegetable gardens and watching 
like chill home videos. I don't know. Does anybody else do this? Like, I feel like I tend to, I'm, Jeremy makes fun of me because he's like, God, you're like so domestic now. I used to be so urban and like such a city dweller. And now I'm like, I want to live off the grid and I want a garden and I want to have chickens and I want like I just was telling him like I think the time the next time we actually get to go to Costco I think I'm gonna cry so I'm hungover which means I scrapped all my plans for today and I'm just binging the Ron Finley masterclass and I'm obsessed with it this guy's amazing so this is the workbook um cuz I am really trying to plan out the garden and like I'm I I'm like 95% sure I'm just gonna be container gardening uh for right now so he's teaching me what I need to know if you are interested that master class is totally worth the money and this guy's awesome so I'm learning but because I'm coming from like novice so if I can learn it so can you and the other reason I'm telling you, I am so sick and tired of paying a ton of money for heirloom tomatoes. So screw it. I'll just uh, make my own. Okay, so we're gonna make some ginger scallion sauce. Cause I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make ginger scallion noodles tonight for dinner. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Cause I feel like this stuff needs to sit for a little bit. I don't want that one. This is why I walk which block countertops at the forever house. I just want the giant ass cutting board. I just sand down and re stain every year. And if you have dogs and you drop an onion on the floor, or spaghetti on the floor, or you have to put your foot over it so your dog doesn't need it because that shit's toxic. I got. I didn't get everything I wanted from the grocery store, which, you know, isn't anybody's fault. It's just kind of how it goes. It happens when you go back to the grocery yourself. Um, so I can't do the crab fried rice like I wanted to do, but I did get stuff I could make some things with, and then I can just kind of improvise. Because the one thing about cooking is recipes are there, but like nobody followed. No chef, not that I am one, I'm at best a home cook. Uh, but nobody really follows them. So just use it as inspiration, get an, an idea for the flavor, swap out what you can. This is what's for dinner. I just pan roasted some uh, broccoli and butter and couple of random seasonings. I made the ginger scallion sauce, threw that in, like 10 tablespoons with 10 ounces of ramen, or Chinese noodles, and um, they're basically ramen noodles. And um, yeah, so we're having for dinner tonight. Look guys, you have a buddy. See the frog? He's kind of big. He doesn't look that big on camera, but he's pretty big. So it's totally still. Okay, time to do one. Good morning. It's Thursday. I'm excited because I uh, I started to pull the trigger on some stuff for the garden. So everything that I'm going to be doing, I'll show you guys. I'm going to do like a whole bunch of videos on this because I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm learning as I go. The thing I have learned so far in all of the research I've done is to just start. So I am going to. Um... I, I, I'm so nowhere near like everything I want, but I've got some seeds on their way. That was really important, obviously, because you need seeds to grow, but also because um, everybody's Rona trauma seems to be around food. So like getting seeds was harder than I thought it was gonna be. Um, I thought I'd still be able to find, I just had this notion that like, oh, there'll be tons. There really aren't. Mm -hmm. I had like, I had so many times where I would in the course of trying to find something, something else would sell out. Like, so my cart would expire basically, or so I don't even know. Anyway, so I found some farms on Etsy 
and I bought some seeds there. And I'm learning about seed saving too because I bought enough to where if I screw up, I've still got some. Um, you know what I mean? So I, I'm, I'm, we're talking 100, like intro to gardening. The other thing I've completely decided on is container gardening. I was talking to Jeremy about this. We don't, we don't know if we're gonna stay in this house. It's like for reasons that like are, you know, if we were in total control of everything, we'd, we would know. Um, but we don't. And I don't want to boss my ass on something and and actually be successful in it. So I was telling him like, cause he's like, well, your first harvest is probably gonna suck. And it's like, yeah, I know. But like, it's an effort thing. And if in case it doesn't, like in case I actually get it right, it would break my heart to have to leave that. You know, like I would be really upset. So um, I decided that everything's gonna be a container garden here. And we have the space so I can put the, like I bought the felt pods or planters or felt pots basically were there. But I bought different sizes of those and I didn't get a ton, I just got enough to kind of give me some space to get started. Um, and then I found a place close to the house that are like soil experts. So I'll give them a call once I have stuff in and I'll explain what I'm doing and then they'll do a, a contact list, like put it in the back of the car kind of thing. So I think we're doing okay um, on that front. I've made those decisions. Decisions I have not made yet that I need to make are, my number one is composting. I want, well, there's two things I want. I want the, the countertop one for like the coffee grounds and for like, uh, as I'm cooking, like dinner scraps uh, and then move that container to a larger composter, but I don't want to have to run out to the compost when I'm cooking dinner. You know what I mean? Like, I just, no. Um, I like the idea of just having a countertop one for first thing in the morning or like while it's busy at dinner time. The larger one is the one that I, I, just, I need to get that. There's no excuse for me not having already ordered that canister, I need to do it. Um, the other thing though is I need to figure out the larger one, I haven't decided if I want the cylindrical like tumbler one. Um, I think I think it'll wind up being that because that's what he talks about. And in, in an effort to like kind of speed up the hot composting, you have to toss it or like spin it or rotate it or whatever. And so they have ones that have like cranks on them or handles so you can like pull them um, and then you have to do it every couple of days, like several times every couple of days. So it's like, okay. Um, and then the reason I'm a little reluctant is because these things are big. Um, so a, like I'm just, uh, and then, you know, when you just don't know yet, that's really what it is. I just don't know. And I'm not gonna know. Right. And that's what he said. He's like, just try it. Um, but the other thing is, they make this thing called compost tea and it's basically just if water hits it like if it rains or whatever th these tumblers have holes right to to bring the air in to aerate the waste um but in the event of like rain or anything they will drain and it makes compost it, it's a very nice way of saying uh the the liquid excrement basically right like all the the water that's coming out of that just that foulness um but that's actually really good for your plants so you should keep that so i was telling him like i don't really know how we funnel that and he's like we can figure it out so we're gonna figure it out i actually want to see how this woman does it I f i'm starting to watch a bunch of youtubers that are gardeners to like varying scales and the one woman that i'm watching that i like she's a homesteader which basically means it's like a, mo she's a modern homesteader which basically means she's self-sufficient as much as she can be and so she's a big ass farm she lives on like four acres in arkansas i'm a zone b or excuse me i'm a zone 8b she's a zone 7b so it's not a huge difference in terms of um growing cap uh, capability which is one of the reasons why i'm watching her um and the other reason is because she do i think she, she does a nice balance of like this is pretty versus and this sustains my family um and she's got a shit ton of kids so she's also got a lot of chickens and i was thinking I really want to get some chickens, but I'm, I am the opposite of her in the respect that she went nuts on them and had a ton. 
I just want like six. <laughs> I don't need a lot of chickens. I don't have a farm. I live in a, like a neighborhood. So, um, my neighbors would kill me. But anyway, so if you guys have, if y'all have, if I haven't decided by the end of this week and I post this video and I will tell you right here, if I have made my decision or not, but if y'all have any experience, even if I do, just tell me, what are y'all's if you have experience with composting or if you are composting, what are you using? What are tips that you wish you had? Um, what and et cetera. Like I just I keep telling him like, I just don't know. And I, it's that thing where you don't know what you don't know. Right. And it's not because I feel like I'm going to be stupid. It's just that I don't, I haven't fully formed my thought yet. And this is one of those things where I am so new at this. And it's something that I want to get right because I can see in my head the potential of what I can grow. You know, I can see, and that is so exciting. It's like I was just telling with the cooking, I'm like, they, these two things of mine, these two new hobbies of mine are like feeding each other in my head. So like I can grow this and I can cook it and then I can go this direction with that and, da -da -da -da, and it just snowballs, right? So this is like super exciting for me. Like I have spent a ton of time on this. Um, but at the same time, I am taking it really seriously and I don't want to just be like recklessly um, trying stuff and then not knowing why I'm failing. I'm being a lot more scientific about it and that like I have a plan, I want to test, I want to do this, I want to track everything and then I want to see what my success is and then tweak accordingly. I don't want to just like throw a bunch of seeds in the ground and be like, I don't know what happened. And I'm watching this one woman and she's great and she's talking about how like you're gonna fuck up like you're just gonna make mistakes um and that's okay because you, you get wisdom so you know even if you don't harvest plants you harvest wisdom and i'm like okay that's helpful right like it's not just a total waste but at the same time you know i'm trying to be really intentional and i can't go and like look at stuff i can't physically go check stuff out and ask questions and <sighs> I think that's like a huge factor in my head that I'm not even fully grasping, but it's like absolutely like, you know, to use a metaphor that's currently in my head, the soil at which I'm growing my thought and logic is I can't consult anybody locally. I can't go to a nursery or go to a master gardening uh, workshop and go like, okay, what's worked for y'all here? You know, what do I need to know about here? And so you're kind of stuck just doing a whole bunch of internet research. Hello, everybody. Hello. How is you? It's taco day. Taco! We got margaritas. My nails have still not come in the mail. Um, I washed my hair today. You're going to give them an update? On what? Your nails. Oh yeah, I have no nails. They know this. They look, they look like mine. Now, oh my god, look at this. Look how small my hands are compared to his. He do the thing. You small. Look human. at that. You Are small you? human. <laughs> look, at, look at my nails compared to yours. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. What? The nails are are, are not long. Or not. Shut up. I, I'm not comfortable with this. Um. But yes, we got tacos. It's Thursday. We always get torches on Thursdays. And thankfully they do curbside. Um, but yeah, my nails have still not come, but I did get my very first thing today for gardening, which is kind of anticlimactic, but it's the little bamboo sticks that mark whatever you planted so you know what the hell you did. Um, but it's still something and that's exciting. So, are you... Are you excited to have homegrown food? Mm-hmm. I didn't realize I was on camera. Oh, I can edit. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, so I'm vlogging this because like so many of y'all wanted this ice maker once I posted it on Instagram. And it's not making ice. So, let's, what are we doing? That's not the side take one, you know that, right? Yeah, no. Okay. Draining water through it. Okay. Which, is that the water that I just put in there? 
Yeah. No, I'm, I, I'm. There Is that was, coming from the tube, from the side tank? Um, no, that's that's uh, that's me just purging, purging the, what I thought could be air. Okay. All right, water's trickling down it. That's good. Trick, trickling down the face of it? Yeah, that's good. Why is that good? That's what it does. Water? It's kind of probably back up to town. Yeah, it's about, like, here. Where's that quick start guy That, that was a good sign when I first started it. And I mean, at least it's water flow? Yeah. Okay. It'll, because it begins to produce in 15 to 30 minutes. So if it trickles down the face of the back wall? Mm-hmm. It's done that since we've had it. That's been fine. Okay, well. Because there's like a flow. What? Are you talking to me? No. Yeah, because see, look, like, okay, come here, let me show you something. So like when I first started doing this, this drip, because you know how it doesn't freeze it, it just makes it, so it's like a drain tray. So that is what I saw when I first started it. And then after the 15 to 30 minutes, it would make ice. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Yeah, what'd you do? Just drain that one too? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that actually. Well, well, it's been it's been at a point where it would run for a while. It just hasn't made the ice. That's but that's what's weird, right? Yeah, but I, mean, I don't know what's wrong. Yeah, and it doesn't tell me anything. It just says if it makes these noises, which yeah. it isn't making any noises. It's like totally silent. Okay, so it's kind of late like 10 something on Thursday night. Um, I am doing a ton of research on homesteading. So he likes to say that we're like bougie preppers, but I definitely think that like we're today's day 49 of quarantine for us. So I think part of it for me is just, I'm getting comfortable with it and I'm trying to like, you go through the emotional like shit, right? And then you, just kind of really accept it and adapt and I think for me I'm trying to adapt quickly because I tend to do that I tend to just like do whatever I want I need or want to do fast um I go full steam but this is like a totally different way of life and it's like you know duh right but at the same time you don't know what you don't know so I'm doing a whole lot of research and I I know for a fact I want chickens. I just don't think we're gonna do chickens at this house unless we stay here for a couple of years because I really don't want to have to move a chicken coop. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna do anything like raise bed. I think I'm gonna stay in containers and just keep doing container gardening until we move because I don't see how you move a raised bed garden and I don't you would just abandon in, in like an in-ground garden, and that sounds horrible to me. So, was there a filter for it? Did you install a filter in it? No, I don't think I did. It came with all of this, and it even says in the instruction guide, if present. We didn't get one. Making it. She has a... An app? Yeah. Oh, really? Is it a useful one, or is it just for the sake of it? It's not really telling me anything. I mean, it's doing the, like, the white fade. Oh, why is it? I did that. Oh, okay. Why? So it's doing the Making Ice light show. What the fuck is the point of this app? It does next to nothing. It changes the intensity of your background. 
Yeah, that's about all we can do. Is that something I didn't know I wanted? And I don't like that. I want the other one. Because I can see if I need to like clean anything. Stop making ice so I can do that remotely. Are you going to turn it off? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Start making ice. Alright. It doesn't act like it's getting cold. Well, it also hasn't. I don't know. There's no reason for it to be that warm. Maybe is this blocked? What? Oh, this is, is that a problem? I mean, if there's not if there's no airflow, what? Here, let's try. Let's, let's do this. Let's 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 turn the whole thing off. That's fine. Okay. Let's turn the whole thing off. Or... Shut it off for like 15 minutes. Uh huh. And then turn it back on. Okay, I'm gonna move the knives to the other side of it, just so it's not something. I love this movie. I, uh, what is this? Uh, it's called Interspace. So basically it's a military experiment uh -huh. where the one guy got shrunk and injected in like a space, like a submarine oh. in the other guy. Of course, of course you like I'm not judging. I'm glad you eat them. Because if you didn't, I would still be buying or not buying those um, peppermints that nobody eats. Why do we have this shit on the. Like, I don't understand. She spent like $40 of her own money and it's just sitting here next to candy. Like, I don't understand. I hope you like these. These are kind of bulky. Like, what? This is bulky. He got like a variety pack. What, Rennie bar candy? No, the, the, the guy that brings our food. Mm. No, are you kidding? I, wouldn't let, I don't want to buy anything. She bought this stuff. This like thinking putty stuff. But this stuff is like not cheap. Like for kid prices. Like I think anything over $10 for a kid is a lot of money. But it's she spent like most of her gift card on it. Well. It's crazy. And it's just like, ah, fuck it, I'll just put it here. So I'm gonna show you. My very first thing for the garden came in. And they are the bamboo planter sticks. You shove them in the ground so you don't forget what you planted. It's small, but it's something. It's a start. You want bougie ass looking garden, baby. That's my, I feel like that's a lot of us, right? Yeah. You know? Our house. Good to you, baby. Yeah. Good to you. I don't need the traditional rules. I'm a modern home what's the word? Homesteader? I'm a modern homesteader. Mm. <sighs> Slightly upscale. Mm. I wanna see you with, with nails doing this. Oh I can't wait. They're on the they're on their way. Okay. They're in the mail. Okay. Coming from London. Get it. Get it. Coming from London. Yeah. Like here, you wanna see the height difference between he and I? Stand up like for real. <laughs> but I love you this much. I'm gonna keep this short because he's on a call and he's kinda of loud right now. We figure this out. I had the knife block over here blocking that. And that guy was blocking that, so it was just getting too hot. So that's what happened there. So I've gotta sort this out now but we have ice so it's not the opal it's us or really it was me but yeah fixed so in case you do decide to get it or you did get it don't regret it this is great good morning it is friday i think i can put you right there that's not sketchy at all um you're on top of our like fire decorative i don't know and pulls purchases at Costco that we only use when the kids aren't around because it makes us nervous. But it's awesome. But I wanted to talk a little bit about the garden because I showed y'all last night that I 
Um, I've been like, I just got bamboo in, but I got something in, right? Please don't fall. That would make me so sad. Um, but I wanted to show you, oh, I'm gonna get white pepper today. That's not gardening, but that is food related. White pepper is spicier than black pepper. Black pepper is not spicy. Black pepper just has some flavor and contrast. I got a five pack. Okay, cool. So I've got five of those and I've got two of these. What is this? Five gallon. So I've got two five gallon and five 30 gallon. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So today, I think what I understand that I'm getting is just some white pepper and, oh, and two of my um, felt pots, my, my five gallon, my smaller ones. So I'm gonna do, I've decided I'm gonna do container gardening just because um, that seems to be like for beginners, like the kind of blanket recommendation. Uh, the other thing is because I, I have a really nice backyard. It's pretty wide. Um, it's a, like, you know, it's a standard, I have it in neighborhood, so it's like the standard lot. I think we're on like maybe a third of an acre or something. Um, but either way, like, I, I haven't done enough. And I've done more than nothing, but like I'm not comfortable with how much I've done. Uh, like sun evaluation. So I like the idea of containers because I can literally move them. Um, and that just makes me, it takes a lot of pressure off of me getting it right, like the exact first time, right? So, and then I've got some trellises. So I'll show you all those. And then I'll also, um, I want to document this gardening because like, I feel like everything I've watched, you know, in fairness for good measure is, is all like master gardeners or gardeners that have like a lot of garden and I really just want to start super small and have a kind of like an early victory so I have motivation and it kind of sustains me and then kind of scale up from there um, that's the primary thing so like personality right and then the other thing is just this is Rona and like we're all doing this so like everything is rated right now so it's really hard to do this um, like I literally tried to buy a compost tumbler yesterday and in the hour I tried to do it, they sold out everywhere. So it just it's just getting harder and harder. So I went ahead and got a pail. Um, I don't know when that's coming, but I, like a countertop one, like a one point, I think it's 1.3 gallons. Uh, but I got that and then we'll get a tumbler. It's just, you know, not easy right now. So, and I don't, I've kind of made up my mind that I want to do a tumbler because uh, he and I were talking about it and you know, at first I didn't know what I wanted to do. And then he was like, I think you should do this because it's got a crank on it so you can turn it and that way he doesn't have to do it. Um, and I can put something underneath the, um, the uh, actual tumbler to collect the compost tea which if you don't know what that is, it's basically all the liquid that drains out. Um, you don't really want that. I mean, it's not gonna hurt your grass, but like I have Adelaide and I really don't want, I don't want her to, she's a terrier, right? So she's just kind of nosy and like investigates. And I don't want her to investigate and get sick. So I like the idea of having something kind of elevated and having something underneath it to catch the tea. So I can use the tea for my seeds and the seedlings and like, you know, starter stuff uh and it's really beneficial for them and then it also keeps that light safe uh and then i can figure out some sort of system where i can move that and put something else in to actually unload the compost we'll figure that out um adelaide's dive bombing look at this but you can't see her anymore she's high there she is can you see her look at the garden I'll show you where you're, where it's gonna be. This is the girl's old like playhouse. They're too tall for it now, but I was thinking about making that kind of a chicken coop. It's not big, but I wouldn't have a lot of chicken. You know what I mean? I have like a couple, and then 
I'd line it with chicken wire and we could jig it up to like have automated water. That's all he wants to do. He wants to do like automate everything. But I was like, that's not, I mean, it's not a bad idea. It really isn't. And it's not huge, but I don't have 30 chickens. I'd have like maybe six, you know, maybe. I really don't know. But I was kind of thinking about it. I was like, I don't think that's a terrible idea. Um, and it's got these big holes so I can like feed them and do the water and stuff. If y'all have chickens, let me know if this is a bad idea. I feel like it's not, but I also don't know what I'm talking about. So if you think it is, I'll listen to you. So this is what I mean. I've got a pretty decent sized yard, but I have a lot of shade because I've got these big trees. But this back corner here with that sun, that's the most consistent sun uh, we get in the yard. So that's where it's gonna be, like right around here. And I've got some trellises now that came with the house. I don't, I am going to have to cut all that back, but like, I don't, I'm not going to start there, right? Cause it's in ground and yeah, but I figured I could at least take the trellises out and then use those for the tomatoes and the peas cause they'll scale or they'll vine. And then right here is where I'm really thinking cause the sun right here, I'm trying to step on Adelaide's. Yeah, the sun right here is like perfect. And I've got that big, beautiful tree, but it doesn't really generate a lot of shade, you know? So I was just thinking I could do it in this corner. And I've got these two trellises right here that I can borrow off the wall and stick in, or whatever. I can take the ones over there. It doesn't really matter. I've got four. I could stick in and I could vine up tomatoes and the peas. But I'm gonna have a whole bunch of, I've got seven, pots coming as of right now and then I've got uh three coffee cans and I mean I'll have unlimited coffee cans because we burn through coffee look, 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 look. what is she doing you silly puppy good morning um but I figured I could do the, the herbs and the coffee cans. And then I've got a bigger container that I had in my front yard, or in my, um, excuse me, my front porch, that I had like a tree in that did not do well. So, you know, we'll figure that out. But I kind of like the idea of that for like ginger. I really want to grow ginger and garlic. But yeah, you see what I mean? Like, I just think this would be such a great spot and it's so sunny, but it's also like not that big. It's a totally manageable amount of space. This, I feel like is gonna be a solid phase one. And then my compost, I'm thinking about putting kind of over there somewhere. Just to kind of, or even next to the shed, I don't know. I don't know. We have this like graveyard of kids toys. We've got to get them hauled off. We can't right now, obviously. Um, I was thinking maybe I can put the compost there. If we got that stuff moved out, but we won't get it moved out that fast. And then this is like our actual patio area. And this is going to be, this is like super shaded from these trees, right? So like, there's no way I'm doing that. We'll just kill everything. This is all rock anyway. But yeah, I think we've created like a vibe with the shade and the lights. So logic is I'll, um, once stuff starts rolling in, I think next week, I start getting, I think, I don't know, let's say Friday. I think tonight, tomorrow, basically now through maybe a week or two from now is when stuff starts really rolling in. And then fortunately I have, um, I have like a soil expert, uh, store not too far from the house you know i had to call them and tell them what i need and they can they can sort me out over the phone and then i can pull up and they can just throw it in the car so like they've got like curbside contact list and that way at least i get soil you know because i was like struggling finding i was looking online and there seems to be a couple of really good brands but like finding them right now is not easy so i was like oh well maybe this place will be okay so we'll find that out when we actually go to do it. I, I got this really great piece of advice the other day that I saw somewhere and it was, and it said, um, your first harvest 
you harvest a lot of, or the first time you harvest a lot of wisdom and maybe a snack for later. And I was like, oh, that's such well put beginner advice because you're so excited. And then if like nothing comes to fruition, you need to remember what you're actually gardening that first season, which is, you know, trial and error. You just got to figure it out. So that's why I'm so like confident in the idea of having containers because I just feel like it's going to keep me from like really screwing up on like something that's kind of like a low hanging fruit solution. It just makes a lot of sense. Plus I can control the soil. And I was even thinking, it's like, even if I did a soil test, how the hell am I gonna fix this soil right now? So I can hopefully get enough to start me, but like if I have to fix all that whole long ass bed, like now. So maybe when things chill out and if we stay put, but not right now, not to start with. Uh, tonight I think I'm gonna make probably like a zhuzhed up ramen with a fried egg. That sounds like something I'll do because it won't take too long and it's not too messy. And there's stuff I want to get done around the house today. It's such a beautiful outside today, so I want to spend some time out here. Um, we're so, we're getting like incredibly fortunate with the weather. Like this is not normal. Normally it's like, okay, now it's hot. And this has just been beautiful. Um, we ate out here last night and talked to the kids last night. Uh, and we were out here for probably like over an hour and it was just like perfect. I live in zone 8B in case you are also in a gardening and you know what your zone is and you want to talk about that. Good news is there's a lot of, there's a lot I can do with that. And we don't really get true winter, you know? So I, my growing season's pretty long. That's my guard dog. I haven't eaten stuff yet. Ada! She's giving orders to the other puppies. I want to show you something. So I got my Hori Hori knife, which Ron Finley said is indispensable. And then I got two of these, which are felt grow pots, and they are five gallons. And then I've got a five pack of 25 gallon, 25 or 30, 25 or 30 gallon ones coming. Um, but I'm excited. So those are, I don't have seeds coming, but slowly starting to see the trickle in of um um gardening stuff so yeah and then i got a thing of white pepper and i got a refill on uh himalayan salt because we were like scarily low <laughs> and i can't go to costco so <sighs> something else is if you notice how destroyed my kitchen always is like i do i tackled it today so i that is there because it's not my territory this these three things those are not my territory um, but I cleaned up my, all that counter space. I'm going to put my herb garden right over there. And then maybe in these like two back windows there, I'm going to put herb garden there. I, I opened these up. Um, don't look there cause that's where all my crap is. I got that Peloton here. God, what a mess. I tackled some rooms, so that's great. And she has food and she has water. Okay, good. Um, it's a beautiful day outside. So I think we're going to eat dinner outside again which makes me happy because it's just beautiful and it's not bad. Um, like it's not humid. It's, it's warm, but it's not humid. It's totally manageable. So, and I cleaned my kitchen. It makes me so happy. And I started to get some stuff in. Not enough to like actually like go out and plant because I don't have seeds and I don't have soil yet, but you know, at least got all of this. I have two vessels and I have my hurry hurry knife and more than I did yesterday. And I've got my little markers. So, Bit by bit, we're getting there. I think I'm pretty definitively at the phase where I just cannot not get ready anymore. Um, even if it's just for like a few hours. Oh my God, I have Peloton bangs like crazy. I'm sorry. But I have to like try a little bit just cause it's my nature. Um, do you know what I mean? Like, is anybody else like that where you're just like, I can't, I can't look like a trash cat this many days in a row. I just can't do it. It's like soul sucking. I busted my knee last, or my, not my knee, my shin last night. Um, the, he pulled this, this stuff out of the BMW uh, a while back. I think to clean it or something. And I'm gonna try to show you. I walked right into it. So I'm like scraped up and swollen. And I had like ice on it for like hours last night. I cried. It was 
fucking painful. Um, like, it wraps all the way around. Here, I'll show you. It wraps, like, from here all the way. You can see the swelling, maybe. I think you can. Or, I totally can, so I don't know if it's coming across on camera. I've got swelling here. I've got swelling on the top of my foot here. And then the back of my ankle is a little tender. So, like, like my heel into right in here. And then all of this. And the sun is I'm out a little bit later than I was the last couple of days and the sun you can see just how sunny my backyard can be there's definitely like here I'll show you there's look at this she's like I love it there are definitely spots where there's like a ton of shade like back in there a lot of the house creates shade but that top tier um, is gonna be where I put it right it's like a no-brainer yeah my head like, oh, look at that light look at how sunny it is up there okay so i just got off the phone with the soil folks and they um they're totally sold out of course like everybody they're totally sold out of the soil that i would need to grow and he said that they should have it back um by like end of next week so i went ahead and got put on the list and um i'm gonna give them a call back next week so i was kind of hoping like you know when you're like i know this isn't actually gonna happen but i I'm just gonna check anyway that's basically what i did um because i'm like there's no way they have any like everybody is sold out of everything and where i live like literally on the road that my neighborhood's off of there are ranches and farms you know what i mean so there's like a vineyard some this one house that we drive by all the time they uh they put in a vineyard so like we live in an area that has a lot of the need anyway like basically for it and then when you add rona it's like you know just quadrupled it at least so that won't happen until next week which is fine but he was really helpful and gave me a lot of advice um about which soil to go with and then how much they you know sell and then also like the longevity of that so what am i going to need out the gate um you know and whatnot so you know, I, this sounds kind of like elementary, but do you, you know, when you get into something new, like a new hobby deal, and you are like day one intro, like, I don't know anything about this. It's just pure excitement. And you talk to somebody else about it and they match your enthusiasm. You know what I mean? Like, and they, they actually like do this for a living. So you can tell like, he's probably had this conversation a million times, but he was like, yeah, like, this is great. It's better to start now. Like da 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 da. And I'm like, that was so, it just like felt so good, you know? Cause you feel kind of dumb and you're like, I know like everybody's doing this. And he's like, no, it's awesome. So that made me feel good. But anyway, so I'm gonna get editing and I'm gonna get to working on, um, I gotta work out and stuff like that. So I'm gonna wrap up the vlog now, but I just wanted to touch base on that. I don't have any deliveries coming today that I know of, so you're not gonna miss anything else. Um, but yeah, so hope you all liked the video and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, bye.